items to the bagging area. Please remove all bagged items from the bagging area. Please remove all- SHUT UP! And see. This has been a dramatic reenactment of my relationship with every single grocery store self-checkout machine. It's a love-hate relationship. I love them, I hate them. I love to choose self-checkout because I'm kind of good at it. Like, I know where all the buttons are, and I can scan everything real quick. Honestly, normal checkout, shmormal, shmex, shmout. That's, that's what I would say, you know me. But I hate them. They're my arch nemesis, every single one of them, and here's why. First of all, they're always snitching on me. Like, I come up and I'm scanning, like, a watermelon, normal fruit, right? And it's like, whoa, this is a crazy fruit. Take your time. <laughs> it starts flashing. It starts falling over its an attendant. Help is on the way. <laughs> it's like that one kid in middle school, that annoying kid that's like, I saw that. <laughs> So the attendant walks over, and he's got death in his eyes. He doesn't want to be here. He's got a million keys, and he's some, he's some stupid age, like 16, something like that. I hate him. He starts pressing these buttons. He doesn't even say hi to me. He's just like, beep, 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 I'm like, uh, buddy, I'm pretty sure it's just a one watermelon, but like, okay. The worst of the worst when it comes to self-checkouts is the target self-checkout. If you haven't been, at every single one, they have a little camera and a little screen that shows you what you look like. Do not look at that little screen. It is scientifically unproven to be everyone's ugliest angle, I swear. It's brutal. It'll ruin your day. That'll put you in a bad mood. Don't take a peek. Anyway, I always look. And you know me. I have to see what I look like. And I'm like, Who's that guy? Suddenly I'm suspicious of myself. I'm like, what's that ginger twink up to? Is he, is he stealing from Target right now? Why is he looking at the camera and stuff? I don't trust it. I don't trust it. But I will always choose self-checkout whenever I get the opportunity to over normal checkout because, as we all know, in normal checkout at places like an ice cream store or a coffee shop, once you complete the purchase, they spin around that little iPad and ask you for a tip right in front of their face. It's like, oh, uh, it's just gonna ask you a couple questions or whatever. Uh, stop looking at comments. I can't even read. I, I don't even work here. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. <laughs> Look down at that iPad and it's like boom. 20%, 25%. Left arm and firstborn child. <laughs> or no tip. <laughs> I wasn't really planning on having kids anytime soon. But I am left-handed, so I'm not gonna pick that one. Maybe no tip. But then if you look closer, you might not have realized underneath every single no tip button in teeny tiny letters it says by the way, if you don't tip right now, you're totally going to hell. <laughs> and that's that, but, but let's be honest, like, ah, the service was horrible. She was rude to me, she was, so, she was so bumpy, but then I have to think to myself, like, maybe she's had a bad day, maybe she's had a rough life. Maybe she's been looking at the Target self checkout cameras recently. <laughs> that's brutal, I get it. Maybe her dog has breast cancer, right? <laughs> or maybe she's been working extra hard trying to save up so she can audition for America's Got Talent. Honestly, it doesn't matter what her talent is, but the whole dog breast cancer thing, she's getting the golden buzzer easy much. <laughs> Hi, my name's Rachel. Uh, I'm going to be um, singing for you today. And my parents are there. <laughs> every time, every time, easy money. All you need is a good backup story. I love the golden buzzer, it's my favorite part about America's Got Talent, and I have always 
wondered, what if we took the golden buzzer and we put it on other TV shows, right? <laughs> Can we do that tonight? Can I get some suggestions? What television shows would you like to see the golden buzzer on? Shout them out. Shout them out. The Bachelor. Shout them out. Other ones? Other ones? We have a fortress. Yeah. Yeah. Making it afraid. Breaking, Breaking Bad. Someone say Shark Tank? Someone say Shark Tank? OK, OK. Let's do Shark Tank. Hold on, let me think. What's up, sharks? My name's Brad. <laughs> and my name's Clap. And we are the inventors of extended fingerless gloves. When you wear fingerless gloves, don't your fingertips get like chilly? Well, we've used science and technology to take that very same fabric that covers the rest of your hand and cover each and every one of your fingertips with seamless transformation. <laughs> we are looking for like 69,000. <laughs> <laughs> we are looking for $69,000 for 10% stake of the equity of our life stake. Right. <laughs> the one white lady on Shark Tank is like, uh, that's, that's just regular gloves, I'm out. <laughs> Mark Cuban is like, it's a good invention, man. I like that a lot. I'm in. In fact, I'm so in Golden Buzzer because they always hit the Golden Buzzer in slow motion. And when you get Golden Buzzer, three things happen. Golden confetti, of course. You shrink down and cry. Oh my God, I got the golden buzzer. I'm going to Hollywood or something. And number three, um, your family is released by Nick Cannon from the side of the stage. <laughs> they run in, big family hug. It's so cute. It's so cute. So, we, do we want to try out another television show? Can I hear some suggestions? What was that? What was that? Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen. One more time. The Bachelor? <laughs> Let's do the back. Oh, hey, Blake. Nice to meet you. Tell me about yourself. Hey, my name's Janica. And I like going to the beach and like shopping and like dyeing my hair blonde. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Here's a rose or something. I don't know. I don't watch the show. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Tell me about yourself. Um, <laughs> my name is Janessica. <laughs> I like shopping and going to the beach. And my hair is actually naturally this blonde. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> Janessica, you. Blow me away. Like, you, you like, you, you're blowing me like, like away. <laughs> you just, you just blow me away right now. And I think you're a really special lady, and I'm gonna do something special right now. Golden confetti, instant tears. Instant tears from Janessica because, and this is a true story, it's a prerequisite to get on The Bachelor. Every single contestant, their secret talent, is it can cry on command. Instant tears. And then, of course, Nick Cannon releases the whitest family you've ever seen in your life. It, it looks like an old Navy commercial. Big Cannon. Big Cannon. Should we do one more show? Should we do one more show? Yeah. Any suggestions? Judge Judy. Shut up. I don't listen to this. You know what to do. Dahmer. Family Feud? Okay, I forgot to write, I forgot to draw a mustache on my finger. I was gonna draw. Let me get ready, let me get ready. <laughs> Name a male body part that goes inside the female during intercourse. Uh, a, a penis, Steve. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Show me genitalia. <laughs> Number one answer. Go away. Go 
Thank you so much for having me. 